you. You know what? Let's set everybody to skills first. And then set wise man to first aid. And then run over here and kill this little piece of crap that wants to stand over here and do nothing. I should have used a skill. I have skills! Staccato will hold him tight longer. That way not to make him smack him more. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Alright, good for us. Now you may be wondering why of all the liminality dungeons, I went to this one specifically. Well, with all of the dungeons, you generally don't really get any equipment or anything out of them. Or you get equipment. No storyline or anything. All you get are the items at the bottom of the dungeon. This dungeon, on the other hand... Say hello to A20. I heard that the Golden Grunty was here, but all I got was a crystal stone. I don't want it, so you can have it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm only interested in the Golden Grunty. You know, I got like a hundred of those about four minutes ago. Oh, I'll give you these too. Th this many? Are you sure? No, I hadn't. I haven't actually checked, but I think that's one of every Grunty food. Yeah, take it. You're really only interested in the Golden Grunty. Why? Just damn. You'll know a little bit more about that if you've watched Dot Hack Sign. Okay. <laughs> I only collect them. I haven't thought about what to do after that. You're determined. <laughs> That's me. Well, bye. Now that's not it for this dungeon, but we'll have to wait until we get to the bottom to see anything else. Yay, data bug! And now that I have more SP than a Wave Master and more HP than a Heavy Axeman, let's go kill some things! I can stab you all day long, buddy. And I can data drain you more. Okay, wise man. May want to cure Natsume there a little. Please don't kill her before wise man can. Thank you. I like death effect. I think that's well established, though. Now, I don't know where I'm going, so let's, uh, fairy Zora bus a map. We are going what appears to be to the right. Ah, fun times. The liches are all magic tolerant. And they run away. I hate the lot of you. I should have used a skill when I had the chance. Oh, wise man, little help. Little help, wise man. Staccato will spell stun him just long enough for uh, Natsume to get in a couple more hits as well. With any luck, ah, he's got 67 hit points left. But I can saber dance him. And with one down, this whole thing just got a thousand times easier. Oh ho ho, four hit points. I'll just staccato you again if you stand there and let me. I'm not above doing that. Do it a third time! Your fault for standing there. And normally I'm not a terribly big fan of the longer spells like that. But when I'm worried about stunning them in place, uh, it'll stun them for longer. And they're running away like little wusses. Stupid mage wusses. Now, let's rig him not some a little bit there, too, while we're at it. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good for ourselves. I'd like us to have a little more SP, but I think for the most part I'm happy. I just don't want to see any more fights like that. 
Now, these are your standard mages. Not magic tolerant mages. Ones you can run up and smack and they die. And if they're running away like that, you can nuke them. And they explode. Hey, you! Now I can actually hit these guys with spells, so I'm not too concerned about using Staccato, though I will want to cast which one of these cures sleep. Now you'll notice I did change my equipment now, so I am now wearing the cat's gloves, because they are actually fairly decent gloves. On top of that, they have uh, Rip Sync and, oh, uh, what's the other one called? Rip Tain. So that means through that one piece of equipment, I can cure any status effect myself. Makes me feel pretty good about myself. Which also means no more gear swapping in the middle of battle. And I'm all for no gear swapping. Gurgo end. And it's apparently said with much enthusiasm. Cool. Yes, please, hit me, not Natsume, aw, oh, it. I stand over here so you don't hit us both at the same time. And that looks mighty painful. He's... a hair away from biting my head off, I do believe. But a quick data drain will fix that. And then I'll stab him more. More stabbing! More casting Rick Guillaume on Natsume. Your fire doesn't hurt nearly as much as your bug version. I wonder why. Other than the obvious, it's not as powerful. But then again, maybe that's all you need to know. Now, am I going up or left? I am going... Oh... I appear to be going up. Bearcat and I'll take a bearcat egg while I'm here. And a chest. And you, whatever you are, you can die now. You I haven't actually seen before. Ow, oh, that stung a tad. You know what? I'm just setting Wise Man to first date so I can smack him more, because me smacking him more leads towards my. Okay, that was close. My life flashed before my eyes. Even though it wouldn't have actually killed me, but I was expecting it to. And I get an Aqua Spear. You'll notice I do not data drain much. Hey, I don't like getting my infection rate up very high in case I do need to data drain. I also like to the satisfaction of having killed an enemy myself. I also like the experience! Very nice. Plus, one of the main things you get out of data draining enemies is the rare item you can... can... and it's not even necessarily a rare item. But the item you can get from it as well. And I personally... get all the equipment and everything I need elsewhere. I don't really need that that equipment. Now, magic doesn't actually do any damage to them, but it does stun them in place. Let me set wise man to first aid, please. So if someone casts a spell, the other person can run up and smack it as well. And quit smacking me, Natsume. Please? Please? Which one of these is confusion? Confusion on Natsume. And with that, we're off and running. Dead enemies are now dead. I had something more profound to say at the end of that sentence, but then I realized all I could really say is that they are indeed dead. Which they are. So I have stated a fact. Unless this is like Pokemon or something where they faint. Which never made much sense to me, because if you get smacked upside the head and pass out, you don't faint, you get knocked out. Fainting is like when you're nervous and standing up on a stage in front of many people. 